Welcome to my channel, Keeping Up With Kia P. I am your girl, Kia P, a.k.a. Kia the Crafter. And today we are working on a new resin project. Yay! But before we get started, as always, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and give me some thumbs up so that you can be notified when we upload new videos like we're doing today okay so with no more further ado i'm gonna take you down so we can get started on this new resin project okay see you sure. all right guys we are here with our um i guess this will be like a knife set or charcuterie charcuterie set for you know like your cheeses and whatnot when you're serving um you will have a set this is the carrying case for it so you have the bottom that holds the knives and then this is the lid right so this is how they look i'm gonna try to position it in there as much as i can but that's how it looks and you would put the knives in it when it's done on this way so we're going to flip that over so that we can fill it i don't know how much resin it's going to take um, these are the three knife molds. So we'll start with three, even though it holds four, we'll have to pour an additional one, but this is the knife hold the knives. So the holders for the knives. And then we have the lid, which is this just regular, simple little, um, lid that you have here. So what we are going to do is get ready to decorate this i mean we're not decorated but um fill it with the resin i don't know how much resin this complete project is going to take so we are going to um just kind of measure as we go um, i'm excited to do this particular project i'm going to go ahead and remove my um silicone mat from, because I, I need it to be perfectly leveled. I know I probably need to resurface my board, but it's okay. Um, and we have everything ready to go right here. All right, so we're going to first, I want to color it in certain spots because um, it's going to, this is going to be my personal one, the first one I'm going to make for my house. And then that way, if someone want one, I can have one for display and it would, won't be just something I uh, made and it goes to waste. So hold tight while I get the colorants together. Okay, guys. So one color I want to do is this metallic, like metal black. I want to take it and put it in the rim. So what I'm going to do is kind of paint the mica, the mica powder just in this area because I wanted to have like that metal feel and look to it but it's resin And I'm just taking the mica powder and rubbing it on to the mold. I tried this on another project. It came out so pretty. Not with this particular color. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. If it gives me the, um, the metal look. The last one, it came out pretty. I did like a chameleon. So I'm also putting it along the wall of the, of the mold. So if you wanna do a colorant without actually adding the mica powder to the resin, you can do it this way 
and you can also this allows you to be a lot more detailed with your resin work so like if you're doing intricate parts or things or details you want to kind of detail it out this is the a good way to go about doing it i've seen people do like little bird things like that hummingbirds and and really give it color and depth and detail and it just look makes it just makes it look pretty and not so much um one color kind of bring it to life like artwork because that's literally what it is it's just a different form of art and if you are creative like myself well i love all pretty much all forms of art I don't like to um, do all forms of art, but I like, you know, I'm an artsy person and I like all forms of, of art from theater to um, crafting art, nails, painting, even though I don't really paint as well, I, I do enjoy it. Thank you guys for y'all subscriptions and comments and everything. Like, thank you so much. I love being here. I love coming here and spending time with you guys for real. Thank y'all for letting me into your world. Let me have a part of you sharing with me. Appreciate it. So again, we, I'm making sure that my um, the rim, like along the sides, has it on there. It is pretty evened out and coated well. That's important because you will have areas that are coated on the sides and the other ones that ain't. And I, that's what I kind of got out of the first time I, I did this. So I said the next time I'll make sure that my rims, the edges, is like right so this takes a minute just a little bit of detail Get the finished results should be gorgeous we're hoping <laughs> and then mica powder like it goes a long way so you can like literally pick some up off of the bottom because it just is so fine and just make sure that your rims and edges and stuff is it's got enough on there okay so I want coated that rim um I'm trying to think of what I want to do with this. Do I want to coat the rim on this as well? And we're going to say yes. So I'm going to turn it like so and just... Hold it. Just in the rim of it. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I just want it to look like it is a metal contraption or something. Or stainless. Kind of a stainless look. Okay. 
so I'm just going around the rim of it. Just touching my brush inside. And coating that inside. I'll knock all the excess out or down and just bring it continuously painting we almost finished we're almost there and I just wanted to give it again I'm gonna come back and clean up any excess and that's pretty much it and then we'll color the um the coloring of the resin and I'm just kind of cleaning up just a little bit nothing major it's kind of like the neat person in me and getting any excess that might have failed when I um out of place all right, so we got this going. We're going to mix up some resin, put our coloring in it, and then we're going to come back and finish it up, okay? Hold tight. All right, guys, so I have 24 ounces of resin. We are going to mix this resin up, okay? So I am mixing. This is a big pour. 24 ounces of resin. I don't know if it's going to need all of this, but in my mind, I calculated that it would. Scraping the sides. And when you have a big pour, you want to make sure that everything is stirred and mixed well. So you're going to mix for a minute. We're going to mix for a minute. Again, making sure you are scraping the sides and the bottom, getting all of that resin mixed up. Again, as I stated, this is a big pour. Hold tight. All right, so now that we have it mixed, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna separate some of this out because I don't know if I'm gonna need all of it. So I'm gonna take about a, a half, a cup and a half, of a three fourths of a cup of it out. And then we'll go ahead and color what we have here. That way I have enough to maybe do my knives um, jazz them up a little bit and maybe be a, get a little different with those. So we have our colorant here, our mica powder. I'm going to be generous because this is a big pour. So I'm going to put in two nice big spoonfuls of this metallic 
black in there. I'm gonna get my orange wood stick, push and stir. Push, 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 push it down and stir. Push it. When you're dealing with mica powder, you wanna push it down into the resin and stir it. Because if you start stirring and the powder is sitting on top, it is going to um, come back out at you. And you don't want that. Oh, this is pretty. So this is really silvery or, yeah, stainless, I should say. I think I kind of low-key just want the top to be clear. So I might not do the top in all of this which I'm glad I separated. So we're gonna get that mica powder stirred in there really, really good. Y'all see that? It do look like it is stainless, though for real. Oh, it's so metallic-y. A lot of metallic. All right, so that's our color, can you see it? All right, and we're gonna just go ahead and pour this base. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that on in there. And just kinda see how much this is. And that pretty much took up a lot of that. We got a little bit left, which is good. We can use for color with this clear. So that is our base. This we are going to use along with this. And then I'm going to separate this some more because I want to put just a little bit of white throughout the knives but this I want to be clear in this middle part come back and come along the sides and try to move that clear out the way. And that color is going to push that clear to the middle. We just gonna see what it's gonna do so that was 24 ounces and we like still got resin uh, um we were pretty much out of resin here so i'm gonna take the last out of this so this again is a pretty big pour Cause that was 24 ounces and we still like haven't done the knives but 20 is the the two um these two is almost full so i would say about maybe 25 to 26 ounces for the just the the um travel 
just for the, the uh, case. And if you want this mold, I will put the everything where it's at. Just have to look sometimes because um, if it's on AliExpress, I don't have a, an exact link yet. I'm trying to get some stuff set up so y'all can just go to my store and get it. And yeah, so we're still working on that. I'm, well, I'm still working on that. I'm a one woman show. So we got that going so far. I'm just going to clean this cup out. Oh, it's looking, it's looking okay. I have to do the knives. clean my cups as I go because it just helps them last a little longer. We have to, to replace them. These are not my favorite baby wipes, but baby wipes work the best. <laughs> After you wipe it down with the paper towel, I come back and go back and clean it with the baby wipes. And that just kind of tidies, tidies up a little bit better. Oh, what is this? Oh, this still got some clear. So we still got some clear because I wanted to do the white. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this to this right here. And we'll just come back and just do the knives with a different set of resin. Ahead and knock this out right on in there like so And last is this big one. We still got a little bit of resin left here. So we definitely want to use it. So I'm gonna scrape all of my sides, scrape all of it out so that we can get the last little bit of this. I'll just add it to this one. I pretty much got that design and all I really need is clear for that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to clean this one out. Gonna get ready to pour this last little bit, and I think I'm gonna do about eight ounces. That should give me what I need for the knives. So 
been raining all day in my area in Texas today. So I guess we kind of need it because we did we had kind of a dry summer. And so fall is starting out as fall. Wet. <laughs> So we have this going. Now we're gonna do eight ounces. Got my cup here. I'm gonna scoot this up as much as I can. And we're gonna pour this eight ounces. Hold tight. Alright, so we got eight ounces in this cup, and this was 24 ounces to fill the, the, the carrying case. So I have my mold here. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to, since you've seen me pour these, I'm gonna try to slide one up just a little bit to give me more room so you can see the knives here. And see if I can slide this one up a smidgen. And here we go. All right, so we have this. What I'm gonna do, because I wanna do a couple of uh, uh, things with this. Um, matter of fact, uh, what I'm going to do is use some, where's my disposable cups? Because I don't want to have to clean. I don't want to have to clean cups today. So, and I thought I had some smaller ones up here, but I can't find them. So we're going to use my disposable cups and I'm going to pour some resin in each one of these for color just a little bit I just need like a little white some clear with some flakes in it and then I'm gonna do the metallic color these is the ones I'm looking for. Where, where are they? Um, oh, you know where they are. These are the ones I'm looking for because I don't want to waste. So we'll leave that little bit out. We'll go ahead and. I said I wanted to do a little, and I don't really need a lot of white, to be honest. We don't. We only need a little bit. So we'll pour just a couple. Is acrylic paint. I'm gonna make sure you mix all your colorants in really, really good. Especially acrylics. I need that to be just a little bit more opaque. A little bit more white in there. This, I want to do, some flakes in it.
and when you want like a silver look without the glitter because glitter normally falls to the bottom of whatever it is you are doing unless it's like on top of something um you can use foil like the the flakes the foil flakes they break up really good in there but it gives the resin some depth and then you have your foil in there like so and that's what it'll be the resin will look like okay so we have our clear we have our white and then this i guess we'll go ahead and what i have left i'll just do i'll do something maybe a different project or something with what's left And we're going to put a little coloring in this one of the Michael Potter. Push down, stir, push, stir, push, stir, push it down. And start pushing the powder down in there and stirring it around. And once it all gets in there, make sure you stir that Michael Potter up really good. I'm not going to need this much metallic, but we'll make it work. All right, so my main thing is I want to do is apply my silver on the bottom. Of each one. Come back and drizzle my white. Here and there, in there. Come back, give it some metallic. I'm just doing something trying to just get the colors in there a little bit more clear on this one come back with a little bit more white So it's just kind of going to be, the knives are kind of be a little different. Metallic and let me clear in that one. Fill it up. Get some in that one. And this one is pretty much full. And that's pretty much it. No, I like the way this is looking, how it's all bringing that metallic into the center. So what I'm not going to do is add anything else to that. And that's pretty much this set to go, to start. I'm going to let this sit. We're going to um, let it do what it needs to do. Bust the bubbles in it, which I've already done the two big pieces, but I'm going to come back and... Just check it for any extras that might have popped up. And because I kind of just want to let this do what it do, I will not put this in the oven in the resin heater. I might put the knives in there just so that I can go ahead and make the next one. But that's pretty much 
and this one can use just a little bit more resin so that it is light leveled at the top. I think these are going to be so cute. I say that about everything. But they be cute though. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for just what y'all do. You know? Okay, I'm just making sure that everything is filled. We don't have any bubbles. And then that is that. I do have some resin left over, so we are going to just kind of do a project. Really simple. I need a, um, actually, yeah, that's what I'm doing. It has this little, so new mold as well. It goes with this. I wasn't going to do it because I really didn't need to, but what the hell, since I got resin left over, I don't, is it enough? Um, mm, see, it might not be enough to fill the whole thing, but you got to do another knife so we can fill it with the rest. We're going to do the whole set. So this is the little cheese cutting board that has the little area for the knife as well. So we're going to go ahead and try to fill this. <laughs> I can get it on here. So hold tight. Okay, so this is the little cutting board. And so we're going to go ahead and just fill this with um, what we have left. So, we'll go ahead and run the colors in here as good as we can. Put this white in here, there, in here, there, in here, up here. A little bit of clear here. Metal right there. Come back into this middle. Uh oh, and white, white, And then we'll come back and finish it when we um, do the the fourth knife, because it's gotta we gotta have the fourth knife, and that's it for that one. I love them disposable cups. You could just throw them away when you're done. You have to clean up anything, so that is always a plus. Get this clear out. Okay. 
like so. And this is like if you just got, you know, a just you and somebody, you just need like a y'all out on a picnic or something, and you just need like a little clip, a little cutting board to cut the cheese or cut the cheese, cut the cheese or um. You know, cut some sausage or a, a little pallet to make a plate or a little, you know, whatnot. It's cute for that. Or picnic in the house or just, you know, y'all having some cheese and wine and it's just the two of you. You don't really need a big board to put it on. Just a couple of, you know, just something there to be cute. I think this will be perfect for that. Okay, so we got that. And I just want to make sure everything is pretty much how it's supposed to be. That's going to be cute, I think. And we're going to clean this cup. While we let that sit up for a minute, then once once that gets done, we'll come back and um, finish it. Put the next layer of resin on it, which could be any color you would want, because you can kind of you know fill it into whatever color on the bottom. This is going to be your design on the top. So, and I'm just cleaning up everything. Cause, and we're gonna be waiting. my bigger wipes better I'm just clean the light or I'll keep it from being sticky Hopefully. And we're going to knock the bubbles out. That's going to be cute. Okay, so 24 and 8 is 32 so far, but we have plenty left over. So I want to say roughly maybe 26 to 28 ounces to do the knife and the the um set. You want to add the clipboard, I mean the clipboard, the cutting board, then you're going to need, it's going to take need at least about 3 to 4 more ounces. So... At least three. So maybe a total of eight ounces to six ounces for this. So 16 and, and 24. 40, maybe about 35. 35, 40 ounces to do this whole set. That's going to be pretty. All right. So there you go. We're going to come back and finish it up. All right, guys, we are back with our finished um, project. It's been cured, everything. It It's ready to be demoed, so we're going to demold it so we can go ahead and get another knife 
forward. So first I want to start with the knives handles. So we're going to go ahead and take those out. And that is a little knife handle. Set that on there where you guys can see it. So this one has like the little, little uh, ridge in there for your fingers. Um, this one is like a regular, just you can use it. And then this one is um, just a little that you can, you know, cut it. They all came out really nice. So we set them to the side. We're going to go ahead and demold the lid. So we're going to take it all the way around. Pull out our little, being very careful with our little grooves here. So we don't tear the mold. And that is the lid. Okay, that came out pretty okay. Remember we put the metal and it do look kind of metal when you reflect it on the light if y'all can see that around here and around the sides so we could have poured maybe just a little bit more resin in there to just kind of um level that out but i think it's all gonna be okay i think it's gonna be okay so that is the top, we got that, and then this is the bottom piece. So we're gonna go ahead and demo, and the sides look like they came out okay. So we're gonna take our time, again, making sure that we don't tear anything out when it comes to these little, these little nodules here. I'm going to go ahead and demold the middle, hoping that we can get everything out easy. Okay. Oh, that's nice. And so that is that part. So, okay, how does this work? Do it go like that? I guess it just kind of sit like that on top. Something of the sort. Just kind of sit on top. weird but I guess that's the top part so that will be the top of it no that will be the top of it so I guess it just kind of fits in the grooves fits in the grooves or something but that's the lid okay so the knives will sit and here, like so, we gotta pour another one, and then these were all the blades we got. So we're gonna go ahead and pour pour another knife. Um, so it'll have the four knives. And I think I want to do the middle one. So we'll pour the middle knife. And then we'll come back and finish up with. So we actually can do two knives. So I'm going to do two. So it'll be. But I'm only going to have. I think it's only going to be enough for. For. I don't know. We need five pieces. So I think I have a five piece. Not sure. But we're going to go ahead and pour, finish this out, pour the two, and then we'll be done with this project. Hold on one tight. 
So I'm mixing three ounces of my A, and then I'm about to put in three ounces of my B. To give me a total of six ounces, we are using epoxy store resin. Um, I don't know what has happened to America's Best. I had a YouTuber reach out to me privately concerning America's Best. I do not know what has happened to that company. I know I was having a problem with um, my orders and yeah... I ended up having to switch over to the epoxy resin store. I don't know if they are affiliated with each other. I have no idea what happened to America's Best. Um, yeah, so guys, again, I'm using epoxy resin store resin. It's right around the same price point as America's Best was. It is just as good quality um, to me, if not better. And so, yeah, I don't know what has happened with that company, but it's weird. Okay, we have six ounces here. It's not going to take all six. I'm just making sure I get that mixed up really good. We are going to separate it and do some colors because I need to do these two knives. <laughs> and so. And they molds only come with the um, three knives like this. So, for this particular, you're going to always have to pour that additional cutting tool or whatever, fork, whatever it is. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. I appreciate you so much. And I want to say that this is mixed pretty good. We're going to set that to the side. I'm going to get some um, additional cups here so we can separate the resin. I'm going to pour a little bit. And... So, I'm going to do this with the white. I'm going to put a little bit more white in here. Just a couple drops. I want it to be a, a little bit more opaque, a little bit more whiter. So we're going to mix that in really, really good. And that's like a Dollar Tree acrylic. So it's really thin. It's not as thick as your little small bottles that you buy from Walmart. That resin is a little bit, I mean that resin, that uh, paint is a little bit thinner. I work with acrylics all the time, so this I don't need much of. I'm just going to do the bottom of this clear. So we're just going to go ahead because I kind of like the, um, the design that's here. And I don't want to put white on the bottom. So 
just gonna leave it clear like it is. And I might have to pour some more. This might not be enough. So I was thinking three ounces for this particular, just for this part, but that might not be enough. So come back with this. And I might have to pour some more resin. That's what it's looking like. Do not have enough. so um yeah so that's that I'm gonna let that sit we're gonna pour another some more resin so that yeah, I can make the two knives because that was not enough. I'm gonna say I probably need about maybe four ounces. Nah, I don't think I need that much because I got an ounce and a half here. So maybe um, Put a little bit more in this tray. I'm gonna say maybe Hundred cc's, which is a little over three. milliliters and then we're going to start this up this should be more than enough Mix this up. It is Halloween, guys, and I hear the kids. They're out there trick or treating. I don't have anything or do any candy or anything. I normally be taking my daughter trick or treating, but she is trick or treating with her friends. And so I get the rest this Halloween. 
But yeah, I didn't think to prepare for the kiddos in the neighborhood. So I'm sure they're gonna have plenty of candy, so. All right, this is pretty mixed up pretty well. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here because I need to fill it. It's not full. To cover it. Just like so. And then we'll let that sit. I'm going to um, hit it with the hit it with the torch so that we can knock the bubbles out of it as it sits. And now we have our white. I'm going to go ahead and separate this into a color. We want that metallic silver or, or metallic black. And then our our um clear so we have our three little separations here we have our metallic black mica powder that we're going to use and it wasn't that much of that in here it was just a little bit so we're not going to make a lot of it I only, I'm only going to use a little because we kind of want them to look similar to the knives that's already there. So that's what we're going to do. As soon as I can find my little spoon, just spoon it, there we go. Just spoon it in there. So I'm only going to use a little bit. Spoon that in. And then we're gonna push that down and stir that on up. Give that a nice blend to blend that mica powder in there. And then this other one, we're gonna do our foil in it so we can have the foils i'm just gonna put a little bit in there nothing too major but enough push that down in there and stir that up too once the foils get in there it breaks up pretty good so you just kind of want to make sure that you, you know, make sure that it's breaking up pretty good. I love foils. It floats in the resin really good. So it gives you that accent without like the, um, the glitter that float that floats to the bottom. When you use it, I'm just separating. I have a, like a nice piece of foil. So I'm just trying to make sure that it's separated down in there real good. Instead of having that big chunky piece. And you can, they tear and separate really easy. So you just have to, you know, keep your eye on it. Okay, so we got all three colors. I'm going to start just like I did with the last one. I started with the white. And I'm just going to layer the colors in. So white. I'm going to do this knife. All right. Come back with my metallic. That in there. That in there. Come back with my clear. That in there, that in there, white, metallic, a little bit, and then my clear. And we're going to let them do what they do. 
might be a little bit too much, but we gonna take some of it out. Like so. That's all we need to do. And wipe it down, clean it up. Let it sit for a minute. Come hit it with the torch, put it in the oven. Soon as it's done, we'll put the knives together and we'll be all set. You'll see the finished product. Okay, so hold tight. All right, so we are back. We're gonna go ahead and assemble. Up out of our way, we're going to assemble the knives. Hey, Shh. fudge. He has been quiet this whole time. I had this camera off, and then as soon as I turn it back on, he gets started. Okay, so this is our knife pieces so that we can assemble the knives. And so, let me see how many it is that's in here and how this is to go. So you can buy, I mean, all the stuff in the link will be below. So it is one, two, three, four, five, five. So it's a five knife set or five piece set. And so these are the little knives or whatnot. So you have five of those. And so we're gonna start with one that doesn't have a, a, a rough edge. And so I'm assuming you will put, do these like so. And that's how, how they'll be. So, I'm assuming we would Okay, let me get this together. Hold on one tight. Hold tight. Okay, so me personally, I would low key want to take the resin and put it like that and let it dry. Like that and then put my piece down in there is what I would want to do but for video's sake we're going to UV around it around it and I'm going to put UV into the hole as well so I'm going to put my lid top over it take my piece stick it down in there nice and tight even it up Wipe off any excess that I have around it. Okay, make sure that it's nice and straight, which it is. 
and then we are going to cure it. Again. it again just start to make sure that it is cured all the way and then that will be one of the utensils he want to go out he want to come in he want to go out he don't know what he want to do but he getting on my nerve. Alright. So, there we have it. That's the fork. So, we have the fork. Now, we're going to go ahead and do... Let me see, I want to do a knife. So we'll do the knife next. Maybe not so much resin this time. And I'm gonna put some in the middle. being extra careful because this one has a cutting edge on it and so we want to make sure we are super super careful with this one we don't want to cut ourselves so we make sure it's down in there that is straight and then we're going to cure it What is weird is that I thought that the lid snaps on because of these little holes or whatever, but it don't, which is a little strange.
And so we're just curing the, the knives, all of the utensils that go with it. I just want to make sure that they're solid in there. And then the next one I think I want to do is, is the spatula. So we'll go ahead and prep this one. That is cure good. I'll still work on this one. All right, let's so we'll put our top on. I'm gonna come and wipe any excess off around. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place my spatula right in there and straight like so uh -oh. make sure it's straight thank you Y'all, I'm liking this so far. This is cute, functional. My two main things, cute and functional. And I'm gonna I'm cure these. Like I said, I think I would have liked to maybe just let them sit in or put the resin and let it cure overnight like that versus, yeah, well, that tightened it up. It's not loose anymore. down from there and then we're gonna wait for the last knife to get done so I don't know I'm trying to think oh oh that could be That could be where it's magnets that fits in here. That could be what it is. Let me see. I bet you that's what it is. Because no one's made this. <laughs> no one's made it. But that is super cute. Oh, that is so cute. And it just kind of sitting there like that, y'all. That is so cute. I'm going to have to get another set of utensils so I can make a couple of more of these like this is super adorable Yep, it tightened that right on up. So we're going to hit it from the other side because we want everything to be cured. I want to see something. I know that I, oops, 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 oops. I have some magnets, some little bitty small magnets somewhere. And I'm going to see if that works. Um, while we're waiting on, on the, um, is that done? No. While we're waiting on, 
while we're waiting on the other stuff to get done. So hold tight and I'll come back and show you the finished product. All right, guys, so we are back. We got the rest of our handles. We're gonna go ahead and demold. I need just two of these. I think I'm gonna take the middle one here just because it's just a perfect shape. And then I'm gonna take this one on the end. It's see-through because I think it'll match better with the, um, with the cutting board here. So we're gonna go ahead and, and that's a little, that's still a little sticky. Did, did I stick that in something over here? Did it come out that way? Did I just stick that in something? That's weird. I don't know if that's, did I just stick that in something? No, that's, that's still kind of sticky. Let me see if I can wipe that out or if that's something that did not cure. That would be weird if it didn't cure, but I don't think that that is the case here. Hopefully, I set it down into something or no. It's because it did not cure all the way in that area. That's what it's feeling and looking like. Um, so, I'm going to put this back in the oven and see if that helps um cure that because yeah all right so that one needs some work let's see about this one then we might have to go ahead and go with this one hopefully it cured all the way and it did so we're just gonna use use this one okay we have both of these And hold tight all right so we're gonna go ahead and get these going again I'm gonna take my UV resin and I'm going to just kind of go around it and then I'm gonna put some down inside <clears throat> and I think with this one I chose to do the little knife so we're going to be really careful yeah really careful with it when we put it down in there nice and tight make sure it's lined up nice and straight and then we're going to cure it <clears throat> this will be cute for travel camping um small spaces um all that good stuff so that I can just kind of sit that down right there. And then we're going to work on <clears throat> the last one. I should have one more fixing ready for around here somewhere. That goes to this last knife. And that's going to go to this one. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit this again with the light. So that it could be nice and 
secure. Come down in there. Feel the hole up. <coughs> Place my cap on some top and then we're going to open this up. Being extra careful because these are little knives. So see that's got a little blade right there. I'm going to take it and then I'm going to turn it and we're going to set this one. <clears throat> and I'm going to wait before I set it down because I want to make sure that they are both like cured really well so we're going to go back and just kind of let them sit while that's doing that we are going to now demold the tray here I'm going to carefully pull that away demold it being real careful to make sure we get everything out and there you have it that is super cute so actually it looks like this knife goes in this one but we gonna use it for the other one so this will fit down in there like that <clears throat> We probably could use that. That looks cute too. So you can use either one. And then that's how that, that store It's got the little areas you can pull the knife, cut up your little cheese for one or whatever you have for one. It looks cute with that one too. So that goes with that. And then I'll show y'all the finished products.